Hey there, it's Mario here and in this video I'm going to give you a quick answer for a very common question that I'm getting and that is what happens when you stop creatine supplementation? And this is something that I've been asked from guys all around the world and they're simply wondering whether they're going to lose their muscle mass, whether they're going to lose their hard gain muscle. And they're probably been scared a little bit by different guys, you know, the guys talk different stuff in the gym. They maybe read somewhere in the forum saying that, hey, you're going to lose lean muscle mass because you stopped taking it. And this video is kind of there to allay your fears and to really show you what will happen if you stop supplementation. So the first effect you might notice is simply a reduction in size, in muscle size. And that is because of that water retention effect that generally comes with creatine. When you stop taking creatine, when that saturation of creatine drops, you will notice a little bit of decline in size. So how much will that be? Well, that depends on how much you gain in the first place because there's a different response to creatine from all uh, from people, right? Your body has its own unique response to creatine. There's actually about 20-30% of people that notice is no effects from taking creatine and there's also people who are kind of hyper responders so they're going to gain a lot of size from supplementing with creatine. So that is the, going to determine how much you're going to lose, basically how much you've gained in the first place. So how long will this take? Well, up to two months, right? That's how long it takes for creatine to generally exit your system completely. And also depends on your diet. Like if you have a lot of red meat in your diet, you might have those effects for a bit longer simply because you're replenishing that creatine because it's a natural compound found in things like red meat. So going further what will happen in the gym well you might notice some performance uh, decline simply because you've gained some of those performance enhancing benefits in the first place when you started taking creatine and again it will depend on how much you gained initially so some people will gain like ability to do three four more reps you know some guys will do one extra rep with the same amount of weight you know it depends on how your individual response was in the first place so if you look at the the studies on average when they looked at the review of 16 studies they see they they saw that there was about a 15% increase on average number of reps a person can do with the same amount of weight. So that was an average increase of about, uh, let's say, one and a half rep if you do 10 reps with a certain amount of weight. So, I mean, there's other studies. I'm going to link all those studies in the description below if you guys are interested in reading them. Uh, studies on powerlifters, on bodybuilders. They show a variety of effects like increases in one rep max with a, with a squat and over a course of eight to ten weeks. Increases in bench press one rep max. I mean, there's all these different benefits. I mean, it's a most widely researched supplement out there. So we have a lot of studies confirming its effects on gym performance. And you will definitely notice some of those declines. Again, depending on how well you responded. I personally don't respond where, where relative to creatine you know I take uh, I take creatine for the last three and a half years I mean maybe I get an extra rep boost or something and it's uh, barely noticeable at least in my case you know but I did have clients who I mean, instantly started doing like three four more reps you know it's fucking crazy so going further is one side of creatine that most people don't know about and that is those benefits for cognition improved memory, improved attention span, improved focus. I mean, these things are some something that most people are not aware of, but creatine does have a lot of benefits from that neurological and that endocrine side of things as well. And this is something you will definitely notice a decline in because there's been a lot of studies confirming the benefits and these things are a little bit harder to measure generally because we're simply measuring gym and we're measuring kind of how our muscles look, but we really don't look at, okay, who measures their attention span, right? That's a little bit crazy to measure, but there will definitely be effects on that. And for this reason, I mean, my question to you is like, why would you stop supplementing creatine? Because there's no side effects. It's quite affordable, you know, it's widely available. So there's really no reason for you to stop taking creatine and you can get all the benefits for about five to seven grams of supplementation a day. I mean, from creatine monohydrate, you will get all these good things. And I would recommend creatine even for people who are not lifting weight, you know, simply because of those neurological and endocrine system benefits. And that brings me to the point of that you shouldn't see supplementation unless you really have some kind of condition, like a medical diagnosed condition where your physician says, hey, you should really stop taking creatine. Aside from that, I really don't see a reason why would someone stop taking it. I mean, definitely not for financial reasons because it's the most affordable supplement out there and it's the one that works 100%. So definitely there, there is no reason for you to stop. So 
uh, aside from that, I mean, I hope this video kind of laid those fears that you had with creatine that you're going to lose your muscle mass. You will definitely not lose your muscle mass. And I did an extensive video on creatine itself on which one is the best, how it works. So I'm going to leave that in the description below, which you guys can check out, learn more about creatine. And if you're currently taking creatine, I'm actually curious about that. So leave me in the comments below. I mean, I read all your comments. So leave that in the comments below. And as always, support the channel by clicking subscribe below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.